I'm Arthel Neville. Time now for Sunday House Call. And I'm Eric Sean. Welcome as always. Joining us, Dr. Mark Siegel, professor of medicine at NYU's Langone Medical Center and author of The Inner Pulse, Unlocking the Secret Code of Sickness and Health. And Dr. David Samadhi, chairman and professor of urology at Lenox Hill Hospital and chief of robotic surgery. Good to see both of you. Great guys. to see you. Doctors, Happy as Sunday. always. I hope you have a nice week. Very good. Great. So we'll start here. Um, there's new concerns now about the Zika virus after doctors in Oregon discover their first case case of the virus spread through sexual transmission. So, Dr. Siegel, should we be concerned about a major outbreak here in the U.S.? Absolutely not, Arthel, and that's a great place to start because this, this kind of a virus has never taken hold in the United States. Dengue fever is very related. There's 100 million cases of the, in the world every year. It doesn't take hold here. This mosquito, even though we have it in our southern states, hasn't traditionally picked up this kind of virus. But you brought about up the issue of sexual transmission. So I want to try to allay some fears. I don't see it taking hold here. But, you know, you talk about sexual transmission. Dr. Frieden, the head of the CDC, said yesterday, hey, there's a little bit more sexual transmission than we were expecting. That spreads fear. The truth is we're talking about 147 cases. 100 and, 107 of them were in travelers that traveled down to affected areas. 40 are in Puerto Rico and related territories that we have. Here's the concern, and it's not something to be afraid of. If you're a pregnant woman, they studied nine pregnant women who returned to the United States, nine travelers. One of them, uh, unfortunately, the child developed microcephaly, so, which is a severe birth defect. So that's where the money is. That's what we have to do is protect our pregnant women. Okay. I, I agree. I think this is like a, we covered this about two, three weeks ago, and I made it very clear that I don't think this is going to pan out to become a huge problem. Part of it is because it involves pregnant women, and it, the, the partners have to have gone to one of these Zika areas and will come back and possibly. And again, uh, CDC is looking into this uh, sexual transmitted mode because it's not the, the routine. It's usually done through the mosquitoes. You, it's not contagious. You can't get it from person to person. And it's important to recognize the signs and symptoms. So you're going to have fever, you're going to have rash, you're going to have red eye and some body pain. And if that's the case, if you have that, obviously you need to make sure that you wear condoms, no unprotected sex with any of the partners. And the other thing is that pregnant women, a recommendation is not to go to Brazil, not to go to the Olympics, not to take any chances because of increased risk of this microcephaly, which is a genetic uh, development of like small brain, etc. The other thing is you can also get neurologic damage, something called Guillain-Barre that we see. It's an upper extremity neurologic disease that's also important to recognize that this virus can, can do it. So how do, you, how do you know if you have it? I mean, you get tested. You can get a blood test and find out if you have it. That's a have, very good point. Symptoms? You, you, you probably have symptoms, and again, if anybody has traveled to those parts of the country, South America, Caribbean... And what, what are those symptoms? Again, fever, body ache, red eye, rash, those are the symptoms, and it can become even more. Um, but uh, the numbers are very small. It's only mostly travelers. And what you need to do is everything we've talked about, mosquitoes, long sleeves, use some of these uh, mosquito repellents, making sure that there's no stagnant waters anywhere. I really don't think it's going to be a problem. And the the fact that we're getting ahead of ourselves with the season coming in, Florida and oh, some man, of the oh, southern states have to be concerned. Worry. No, I mean, look, 80% of the time you don't even know you're sick. Now, that may scare people, but even the 20%, it's a very mild virus. Like David's saying, you get better in a week or two. You're almost impossible you're even going to get hospitalized for this. If there's been any deaths associated, it's extremely unlikely. The incubation period, which is what Dr. Siegel just mentioned, is very important because on those two weeks period, you're probably more susceptible to get this virus. Otherwise, you're done. The only other thing that can happen is sometimes, like Ebola, and this is not the case of Ebola, these viruses, they become cute, and they start to evolve, and they become mutate, and then it can turn us the key. So CDC is looking at this. I don't think it's going to be a, a, a big issue, and I hope they don't spend a lot of money on coming up with vaccines. This is going to pass. All right. Well, hopefully, well, I don't like cute viruses. They're not, they're not, they're not cute. <laughs>